I'm joined now by Dr. Desmar Walks from Austin Travis County Health Authority. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Hi, thank you. So first, just give us a sense of how dire the situation is right now in your county's hospitals and, and whether your hospitals have enough resources to get by if you do run out of ICU beds. We are continuing to have a surge in cases here and our ICU bed capacity has been strained. Um, we now have um, six beds available in our ICU as we um, have patients moved out, but we're continuing to have a surge in cases and our um, hospitals are um, experiencing this all over the central Texas region. And we've been seeing a troubling uptick in COVID cases among younger patients as the Delta variant spreads. What are you seeing there as far as pediatric patients? Um, at, at present, we have um, a number of uh, pediatric patients in hospital, um, 12 at last count with uh, four in ICU and uh, three on ventilators. And um, that's a big concern for us. And largely, are these children who had underlying conditions or they were otherwise healthy kids that, that are coming in? The children that are in ICU are the children that tend to be um, uh, those with underlying conditions. Um, the children that are presenting to hospital are largely unvaccinated. And I know that health officials try to stay out of politics most of the time, but I do want to ask you about prevention and the battle over mask mandates. How much does it complicate your job when political leaders block efforts like requiring masks at school? Um, it means that we have to do a really good job educating the public about the uh, stopping the spread with mask wearing and really make a concerted effort to communicate effectively to the public and overcome the misinformation that's out there. What's the morale like for you among doctors and nurses, your colleagues, as this now fourth wave of COVID driven by the Delta variant surges in your state? For many of us, it's frustrating that we're here again um, and that so many people have decided not to be vaccinated and we're continually trying to educate them to be vaccinated. The majority of people in hospitals right now with severe COVID cases have been unvaccinated. As a health professional, how frustrating is it for you to see that, that with vaccines widely available? And, and have you started seeing that trend? People are saying that uh, in several states that they're starting to see an increase in those cases among the vaccinated. We are continuing our efforts to get vaccine out into our community and Interestingly enough, the numbers of those that are coming in for first doses has increased as they see that we're struggling right now with our ICU capacity. So that's a good thing. All right, Dr. Desmar Walks from the Austin Travis County Health Authority. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.